on Twitter and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about snowmobiling because I'm really getting into it and I'm enjoying it with my husband and my family. But there are a few things that I've learned as a woman and a novice to snowmobiling that I would love to share with you. The first thing is make sure that you wear a sports bra because when you're hitting the trails and the bumps, it hurts. So this will save you a lot of pain and agony, agony the day that you're sledding and a few days afterwards. Your or average ordinary undergarment does not cut it. The next thing you want to make sure is that you have a good helmet. They're really expensive. I think this is like 150, but my head is protected, which is the utmost important thing that you can do when you're snowmobiling. But also, I'm not letting heat escape my head. I can see well, it doesn't fog up, and I'm protected. It makes the world a difference. And when we were using used helmets that didn't fit me right, A, it wasn't safe, but it totally wasn't comfortable. And my head and my ears were always cold. The next thing you want to make sure you do is, well, after you take off this helmet, when you stop to grab something to eat, you're going to have some fugly hair. So you want to make sure that you have a hat. Me, I prefer Stormy Cromers because they're made in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and they're super, super stylish and warm. The next thing you want to make sure that is that you're following somebody that knows where they are going. Because when you're sledding out in the middle of nowhere, there isn't a Starbucks on your left or a Target that you take a right at. Nuh uh uh. There are trail maps and signs, and so knowing how to read a trail map or follow somebody that does is very important. And you know what? Snowmobilers are really, really nice, but they're not giving you high fives, peace signs, and fist bumps. When I first started snowmobiling, I thought everybody was so nice and they were like waving to me. So I'd be on the sled, I'm like, ah, hi! They are not waving. They're not giving you peace signs and fist bumps. What they're doing is when they do this, that means that no sleds are coming behind them. They're the last person in the group. Peace sign, nah, means two more people are coming behind them on sleds. It tells you as a snowmobiler, slow down, get to the side, more sleds are coming through. So even though the snowmobilers are really nice, they're not giving you peace signs, fist bumps, and high fives. Sorry. I, I learned the hard way and it was quite humorous when I did. The next thing you want to make sure you do is you have a great coat. When I first started snowmobiling, I would just wear the coat that I took my kids to school in or I would run an errand in. I froze and then I wanted to go home. I didn't like snowmobiling. Now I have a cold wave jacket. It zips up, it has layers. I'm thoroughly protected from the elements, from the snow, from the wind. And now I don't get cold. When you're cold and you're snowmobiling, the first thing you want to do is go home. That ruins the trip. So make sure that you're protected, you're warm, you're wearing your sports bra, you're following somebody who knows where they're going, and you're not just wildly waving to the snowmobilers.